Hello. I'm going to tell you a tale about tails. If you have a dog, you might have seen that some dogs have a very peculiar habit in that they will sniff other dogs' bottoms. Well, actually they're not. I'll have to tell you. They're sniffing each other's tails. And this is the reason why. A long time ago, dogs were a bit like humans in that they used to have parties and get together. Now at this time, a dog's tail was removable. So when a dog went into its house, it would remove its tail and hang it on a hook. It was more comfortable, just like taking your shoes off. But when a dog went outside, every self-respecting dog would take its tail off the hook and reattach it because to go outside with no tail on would be a bit like us going out without your trousers or a skirt on. So, inside, tails off, outside, tails on. Now, one day, the dogs had a party. Oh, what a party. The food, oh, it was everything a dog could dream of. There were bones. There was dry dog food, there was tin dog food, there were sausages, there were bits of cake, there was some cheese, oh, you name it, whatever a dog liked, it could find there. And, uh, and of course, to make themselves more comfortable, as every dog came in, you know what they all did? Every single dog took its tail off, height on a hook. You should have seen the array of tails. Oh, there were tails from things like mm, Alsatians, uh, Dash Hounds, mm, Dalmatians, Pugs, uh, Yorkie Terriers, Cocker Spaniels, Dobermans, Wolfhounds, Little Terriers, you name it. Every single dog's tail you could imagine was hanging on a hook, looking very fine. And the dogs were busy munching away at all the delicious goodies. And, and then there were games. There were things like a tug of war and, and catch and chase. And there was an area where the dogs could dig. And there was a, a pool they could jump into and splash around in. Oh, there was an area where those dogs who wanted to play on the computer could do that. There was a, 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 a war gaming area. There was a card playing area. It was such a good party music was playing, things like who let the dogs out and how much is that doggy in the window? Any songs. Oh, the dancing was great. All was good until all of a sudden there was a shout of fire, fire, get out everybody. So all the dogs ran. They ran to get out. But of course, like I said, no self-respecting dog would think of going outside without a tail on. So as they rushed out, they all grabbed a tail. And I'm very glad to tell you, not one dog died in that fire. They all got out and they all had a tail. However, when they had a look, some of them found they got the wrong tails on. And from that day to this, they're going round trying to find the right tails. So if you see dog, one dog and it seems to be sniffing another dog's bottom, it's not. It's sniffing its tail. As if to say, have you got my tail on? And the other dog will say, have you got my tail on? But if you have a dog that does not sniff other dogs' tails, maybe your dog has got the right tail on.